much. A new study reveals some ADHD medications may cause an increased risk of psychosis. It says that teens and young adults who take amphetamines like Adderall are twice as likely to develop the condition. For more, I want to turn to our Dr. John LaPook, who's with me in, on set here. So, Dr. LaPook, from this ADHD medication study, what's well, really significant from this? Well, this was looking at claims database, and uh, there were about 110,000 people, a lot of people, 110,000 in, in one group and 110,000 in the other. One group had people taking a drug called methylphenidate. That's used to treat ADHD. The other were amphetamine-like drugs. So the methylphenidate drugs are like Concerta, and the amphetamine-like drugs are Adderall and Vyvanse. So what they found was that, and, and it's no surprise, we've known since 2007 when the FDA said there was a warning that amphetamines can increase the risk of psychosis. But they, what they found was that in people who were taking this, and they were followed sort of for, for a medium about four to five months, uh, after about 120, about four months or so, um, there was new onset of psychosis that required medication. And it turned out that the group that got the uh, amphetamine-like drug was about one in 500, and the people who got the methylphenidate was about one in 1,000. It averaged out to, between the two to about mm -hmm. one in 660. So the message there was, oh, is that surprising? It's not really surprising mm -hmm. because we know that the amphetamine-like drugs are more powerful at releasing dopamine at okay. the neurological level, and that's how they work, by, re by releasing dopamine. What I found really interesting in this study, Rena, is that they looked at people uh, who were followed by psychiatrists, by general mm -hmm. practitioners, by pediatricians. The group that was followed by psychiatrists did not have an increased risk of psychosis. Why do you think that is? And I think that's the cautionary tale here. So I mm -hmm. spoke to the study author and I spoke to one other expert. And it's possible that the psychiatrists, first of all, when the person came to them referred, they picked up signs of early psychosis and mm -hmm. they said, you know what, this is somebody who should not be getting an amphetamine-like drug. Or mm -hmm. once they were given the treatment, they were able to monitor them more closely, mm -hmm. which they tend to do. And as they were starting to get little symptoms and they're very perceptive at picking them up, they took them off the medicine and, and turned to something else. Can we step back for a second? What exactly is psychosis? Uh, so psychosis, great question, is lack of reality testing. You can get delusions. You can hear voices. Sometimes you can, you can see uh, things that aren't really there. You can be paranoid. It's a lack of reality testing. And uh, this can happen with amphetamines. Um, hmm. and, and one of the interesting things about this is, and I've had this happen in a patient of mine, which is, People take Adderall, which mm -hmm. is an amphetamine, mm -hmm. and um, they take it for lots of reasons. If they're taking it for ADHD under a doctor's guidance, great, it can really help. But sometimes they take it, often they take it, mm -hmm. uh, for other reasons. So they take it to do well in school. They take, they, you know, they're on it as a, as a kid, and then when they go become an adult, then they're on Wall Street, mm -hmm. or they're taking it in graduate school, they're still taking it. But they may or may not still have the diagnosis. Well, you can get side effects from that, and if they're not being followed by a psychiatrist, you can develop psychosis, and I have seen that happen. So what do you think it means for people who are prescribed Adderall? I think for people who are prescribed, they're doing well. Um, you know, most of these reactions happened early on in the first several months. If they're doing well and they've been on it for a long time uh, and they're followed by a doctor, then according to this paper and according to the, the study author who I spoke to, stay on what you're doing and, and no need to change. And this is a very small increase. Mm -hmm. I mean, I actually said, well, what's the baseline? So I looked at a mm -hmm. study and there are 100, what's the uh, onset of psychosis, new psychosis in somebody aged 15 to 29 is what I was able to find. Mm -hmm. Like what's, because there's no control group here. Mm -hmm. and, and that was 126 people per 100,000. In this study, which was looking at people 13 to 25, mm -hmm. with metal, methylphenidate, there was 178 new cases per 100,000. And with amphetamine, there was 283 new cases per 100,000. So what that means is if you compare it to 126 baseline, and that's just all comers, including people who are taking ADHD medicines, yeah. that's 126. You're taking amphetamine, it more than doubles it. So yes, it's more than doubling it. Still, it's a relatively low number of people, 283 out of 100,000. And I think the bottom line here is, there's no free lunch. You know, there are tons of people who are taking Adderall. We know it's sold on campuses. Mm -hmm. I did a story about it. At the time mm -hmm. that I did it, it was 10 bucks a pill, and people were selling it. You're about to take a final. Here's some Adderall. Mm. Well, you know, you, you, you can tell there are some pharmacological signs of it. Pupils are dilated, mm. right? Uh, it doesn't always act the way you think it's going to be. You could be up cleaning the house for 12 hours instead of studying for your test. Your blood pressure can go up. Your pulse can go up. There are side effects of it. Mm. So this is not something that you just take because, hey, you know, it makes me perform yeah. better. It's, it's a good point, and, and also because it's so widely available that people need to understand the importance of why you need someone to look over this. Yeah. Dr. John